What up, it's your boy Throwback King with another 19.9 retro short pickup. So if you've seen a couple videos back, I showed a pair of Villanova shorts from the brand 19.9. Completely love those shorts, man. Dope Villanova shorts. And yo, I had to pick up another pair, man. And I'm sticking to that that mid '90s era, where I just love college basketball. You know, with the Georgetown, with Iverson, we got Kerry Kittles with Villanova, Ray Allen with UConn, Syracuse with John Wallace, uh, Kentucky with those, you know, Ron Mercer and Walter McCarty and Tyus Etney with uh, with UCLA, Ed O'Bannon, the O'Bannon brothers, uh, Toby Bailey. Yo, that whole era was was just fire, man. And these shorts represent St. John's, man. Another, like, Georgetown rival, man. I don't know what it is. I'm picking up Villanova. I'm picking up St. John's. But I don't have any Georgetown Hoya shorts, which, you know, as soon as they restock, I'm definitely going to pick them up. But this, this, these shorts are just absolutely fire. And it represents my man, Felipe, Felipe Lopez, um, a.k.a. the Michael Jordan the Dominican Michael Jordan, man. So if you never heard of Felipe Lopez, um, he was like the the most hypest high school player, like way before LeBron James at St. Vincent St. Mary's. Uh, he's from New York, Dominican player. Um, he was just, they have a 30 for 30 on ESPN about, you know, the impact he had in high school and stuff like that. His his, his uh, college career was, was pretty dope. Um, his just his NBA career didn't really pan out. Played for the Grizzlies, played for the... Um, uh, the Timberwolves and stuff like that, but really didn't have that that NBA career um, that was he was supposed to be hyped up to be. But you know it happens to a lot of players, man. But you can't take away what he did in high school and what he did in college. I actually picked up this uh, this SP rookie card from Felipe Lopez, actually the autograph. So that's my first Felipe Lopez autograph card. I'm sorry for the glare, but. It's fire, fire, fire when he played for St. John's, man. Um, I was a big fan of Felipe Lopez, man, being a Hispanic player. Um, we don't got a lot of Hispanic great basketball players, man. Puerto Ricans, we only have, like, Carlos Arroyo and stuff like that. But Dominican, got to represent. It is what it is. Now for the shorts, man. Um, these shorts sell out quick once they hit the, the website. Uh, like I said, 19.9. Big shout-out to 19.9. Check, go check them out um, on Instagram. Check out their website. Definitely, I put my nephew on. I just picked up a pair of uh, Memphis uh, Memphis State shorts, man. So, big shout out to my nephew. I had to pick these up, man. This just screams 90s, bro. Screams 90s St. John's. Uh, Felipe Lopez. Gotta love that St. John's logo on the side. Like I said, I still love my Georgetown Hoyas. But these shorts are fire, bro. Um, there goes that St. John's logo. And you kind of have that the design around the shorts. It's kind of like that cityscape escape design around the shorts so like i said i just got this still brand you know still got the tags on just waiting for uh that spring summertime the elastic band just the quality of these shorts are amazing and you already know has pockets which is always a plus um with uh basketball shorts so shout out to 199 uh here's their logo right here you know their website is 199.com like I said, I'm still waiting for those Georgetown Hoyas to, uh, shorts to restock. Definitely going to pick up a pair. But for now, man, anything 90s uh, when it comes to college basketball, I'm definitely going to try to pick up. Got to pick up a UConn. UConn shorts, another rival uh, from the Big East. Um, but, you know, I live in Connecticut, so those shorts are always fire. They're Ray Allen era. So, um, like I always say, bro, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you have, thank you. One.